What do we do to the things that are right in front of us that are calling for our gifts and we're saying, well, I'm not the best at that. I'm not as good a singer as that person. I really don't know how to coordinate this. Painting's not my thing. I don't have any time. Where are the things here just at Sunrise Ranch? Where are the things, those of you who are online, where are the things in your world where tenderness and connection are vital to becoming fully awake? Because if we're half awake and we're holding back because we feel somebody could do it better or we don't want to do any damage, the revelation of self is waiting to happen. The revelation of yourself cannot happen from the beginning to perfect in moments without you stepping into your world and bringing your gifts. Because I know that there is sovereignty in each of us that is backing these gifts that we have to bring. Not only backing it, it is the revelation of ourselves through the giving of it. We can say, oh, well, I'm a self, can't you see it? But if we're not doing anything to reveal that self, who's going to know that self in expression or know that to reveal their self would be a gift to the world? I spoke many years ago about, we used to have a choir here at Sunrise, and there was always at least one soprano who was better than me. And then when the best soprano moved, I was thinking, finally, I'll get to be first soprano. And then some little girl decided to move to Sunrise Ranch. <laughs> so it was not to be. <laughs> she had an amazing voice. She was a powerful singer. And I realized how much I was holding back in my own voice because people were better than me in their singing. But I have had this experience, so I can speak about it for myself, that there are times when I know there are people who are better at things than I am. And so I've held back thinking, this person should really step in because they would be amazing. And so I do nothing. Or I wait until this person realizes they're the amazing one. I don't know if you've been in that kind of situation, but I've been in those situations where that amazing person never steps up and nothing happens as a result of nobody doing anything. And if I am the one there realizing that there's something that could be happening, if this happened, I might very well be the one who has to deliver it. How do you want to generate the substance for victory? It's whatever your gifts are, bring them. Have you ever had anybody say, what's, what's your gift you're bringing to the world? <laughs> it's like, oh, I make good spaghetti. That's a hard, an hard question to answer, um, especially because most of us have a wide-ranging basket of gifts to bring. But if I were to ask, if, I, if you were to ask me, what do you think my gifts are? I could tell you pretty easily. And I could give you a list. And my experience, when I have done that with another person, is sometimes they start smiling because they realize they do it. And they also start getting embarrassed because they don't think they do it well. Both things happen. But there are many things that I, I know are waiting for me to do. And there are many things that I thought I would do that I didn't get a chance to do. That I could possibly be in grief about those. Or I could feel like my life has been a failure because some of my dreams didn't come true. But I have to say, on this day, what is your dream? There are many people who are frightened because they are half awake. How do you inspire them to wake up and give their gift? Try a little tenderness. I was going to sing there, but I'm not that first soprano girl. You know. <laughs> 